From a dumpy little office in West Covina, California, it's the Foo Bar Show with Josie and the Foo. Hey, what's up, everybody? I am Josie. I am the Foo. And we got David on the mix. So say hi, David. Hello, everybody. Should have said hello, David. <laughs> Welcome to the show, everyone. Welcome, Welcome to the, to the show. show. So, what do we got on tap today? Let's see here. We got uh, we got our favorite things. We got a Deadpool two review, and talking a little bit about Solo, what we might know about it so far, and what we would like to expect. Um, checking out this uh, thing on YouTube that everybody's talking about, Brainstorm and Green Needle. Um, you'll hear about that in a bit. Uh, Definitely, so- David. Have you heard about that? No, actually, right, sounds good. sweet. So we're going to try it on I'm learning you. with everybody Excellent. else. We're going to try Josie. it on you. So I'll have to pull up that uh, that video at some point here. We're going to do a uh, very, very, very enthusiastic, very long, maybe even, in my opinion, sports segment. Um, a quick science Emphasis. update. Uh, the Foo's uh, woes of online dating. And maybe Poor we'll foo. actually get to this uh, awesome weed blog that he keeps threatening us with. I say threatening us with because goddamn, dude. I'll throw it in your face like this hot coffee. Awesome. All right, man. So one thing I wanted to address because this came up right after the last show. Um, David's just the, like... Is this the Origins? Uh, it's something like an Origins um, thing. Where, well, do you, do you want to retell the story of why we're calling you the foo for these purposes? Sure. I mean, I, I get it'll I be more most appropriate. Yeah, sure. I guess so, you could say. Um, so well, I'll, I'll start. Um, so we, uh, the foo and I used to work over at one of the local Best Buys here. And uh, we worked with this guy. He, uh, nice guy, dude. It's, it's hard to not like this guy. But he had this cholo thing about him where he's just like, it's in his vocabulary. He's like, so foo. And mind you, at the time, he was only like. Barely turned eighteen years old, so yeah, he was a young guy, he was a kid. He, yeah, he was a kid, uh, but like, I mean, not saying we weren't kids. But. And he and he looked like you know one of the you know, shaved head, fucking baggy clothes, and all that, all that good stuff. And Shout out to the original foo, the original <laughs> foo. Yeah. So um, all of a sudden, the foo starts. Uh, he just, so we take it as a joke and run with it, yeah. and we're just like, let's just start calling saying foo after everything, and then little did we know that instead of just making it a quick gag joke. That we accidentally burned it into our brains, so we were saying it all the time to each other. Like even all a pe- the even time. even like people we like first time we met them at a party or like at an event. Like so, <laughs> foo. So it's kind of kind of look at you like what the hell. Yeah. Um, so we did. We said it to him just to kind of uh, like I said, rag on him a bit, and then he eventually turned into like ah, these guys are stupid. Like. These yeah, he guys, came over recently. Yeah, like he came over recently, ago. and then we were calling each other the foo, and he kind of gave that look like, I can't believe these guys are still running with this They're joke. They're still running with this, like, but like, it's we've gotten so used to it, and the people around us hear this guy you, say this is like so much. Eight years ago, nine years ago, so... This is around like 2009. So this guy it, yeah. is like, these guys are going for a solid decade with this joke. Yeah, yeah. So if, if we took away anything from the recession... It was it was foo. It was the usage, the over usage. It'll of never foo. die. It's so simple. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's only one syllable. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, so, <laughs> since the foo says a foo, like it just he addresses me as foo. He'll address David as foo. I'll so, address you as foo, everyone. I, I just want everybody to understand that I'm not the foo. I'm I'm Joe C. We got David on the mixer, and then with any production help, I, I uh, just as a quick introduction, I take care of all the drops. Uh, the food just sits there, looks pretty, and uh, tries to make us laugh. Tries to make us laugh. And, uh, so, we heard you the first time. Okay, good. <laughs> and uh, so, so that in a nutshell, that's who we are. That's uh, the origin of the foo. I've known this foo for uh, many, many years. We went to um, college together. We worked at the same location together. So uh, we even he, joined a post college uh, company together. Yeah, yeah. Our Hilarious. first job out of college was uh, together. So we've uh, crazy. N- we now live with each other. He was my best man at my wedding. Uh, it was, it was, it's been good times with this stupid foo. Everything's going according to plan, <laughs> David. <laughs> He's slowly going to steal you from Steph. That's his whole thing. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Poor awesome. Steph. Well. Well, uh, uh, what should we get into first? The foo. Well, uh, that was one of the first things I wanted and to talk about. And remember, everyone, that's Josie. I'm calling the foo. Right. 
So I wanted to talk about uh, our favorite things. Uh, we can start with you, Fu. Um, specifically, you know, culturally, you know, we, we listen to music, we watch TV. You know, what are your favorite shows, I think video it's games? Pretty, I think it's pretty much uh, our general likes and interests because we tend to... Well, me and you are not the same when it comes to, like, musical tastes. Oh, definitely not. Definitely not. We've uh, come from different backgrounds in music. Uh, mm. You're in a band right now, by the way. Yeah. I don't know if you... Uh, Maybe we'll throw some of uh, your band on at some point in the podcast. Maybe the intro to this uh, to this podcast is an old track from a band from long ago, a band called The Bar Show. That song was called Lunatic, spelled with the K at the end. It was uh, it was about one of our friends at the time and how we perceived his lifestyle. It's uh, it's you you cannot find it anywhere. That's for sure. So this was a complete blue balls moment. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, the outro will be part of that same song too. It, it, it's it's. Uh, I'll, I'll sprinkle them in throughout. I probably won't mention them uh, unless somebody points out. You know how. You know, if you like, couldn't tell already, long story short, this guy loves music. Oh, uh, totally. I, I like. I uh, love rock and roll. Uh, always have. Um, came from a musical background as a small child. I think that's something we want to do too. Make sure we. Uh... That you know, we explore it. that, mm-hmm. express it a lot. And it doesn't have to be all rock and roll. I think we're going to touch on some hip-hop, some electronic uh, dance music, um, stuff that we would find entertaining, or at least the people doing it entertaining. Well, you know, Josie <coughs> so right Everybody he- has a story. Josie right here was uh, in, is in a rock and roll, rock uh, genre type of whatever the fuck you call it. <laughs> That's how much I'm into it's, music uh, variations. Well, I, I would call us like an alternative rock, grungy influenced uh, rock band. So mind you that, and then you know, all during high school and into college, I listened to just uh, you know mainstream pop, and uh, eventually when I got into college, just you know hardcore underground hip hop. You know, very, uh, very uh, how do you, how do you say um, cult status? You know, on some of the local or uh, like lesser indie. known artists, yeah, on the indies. Uh, mm-hmm. So. That's kind of where we vary. Just and throughout as an high example. school, I just thought that was like garbage. I just I didn't like. So I don't like any of that. Well, you must be referring to the rap nowadays. Well, it started, I think, you know, towards the tail end of my of my high school, maybe even college. I, I would say college days. Uh, there was still some interesting stuff happening. But man, the rap coming out nowadays. Yeah. I can't even know. So so yeah, let's let's start with you, Fu. What are your what are some of your favorite things? What's your like favorite? Just you know, just list them out. TV show. Uh, what's your favorite TV show? You know, the TV show that we're uh, watching right now is uh, Westworld. That's one of my uh, current on HBO. Yeah, yeah, one of my current TV shows. Uh, uh, you can't go wrong with Game of Thrones, even though Josie here doesn't know a damn thing about that. I choose not to watch this show. So this is where this is going to be an interesting topic to revisit because. Uh-huh. Mind you, fucking millions of people watch this show like sure. religiously. No, I get it. I don't want to call it. myself a religious follower of the show, but let's just say I binge watched the entire series like in four. Yeah, years. let's just say that. <laughs> let's just say that. Nonetheless, uh-huh. uh, you know, yeah. uh, more into the. Uh, I am shocked and appalled. Uh, anyways, getting into more of the uh, shows I like. I'm a big fan of anime. Um, I don't know. I wanted to actually ask you guys a question about this. Do you consider? American cartoons anime. Because you know when you, you they wouldn't consider that, right? If they're drawn in that style, you're asking? What style, though? That, I mean, that anime style. No. no, not at all? No. Do you think it's just a culture thing, or do you think, like... Uh, yes. Very Everybody much. Well, people are totally into that no. these days. I no, mean, even fine. back in the 70s, you know, with Speed Racer and all. An American can totally try to draw... An American can totally try to make an anime cartoon, but anime comes from, I believe, the Japan. style, the culture, where it's coming from. It's kind true. It's because part. I like I like a lot of Japanese anime, um, but then when you think about it, all the uh, current stuff, you know, current cartoons. That's that's pretty much anime. But you know, we're in America, so we call them cartoons. Yeah. Uh, like uh, you know, big fan of Rick and Morty, uh, Adult Swim stuff like that. Uh, pretty much, uh, I, I like I like most <laughs> things like the uh, DC universe, even though they're doing a shit show at the. Uh, <laughs> At the box office these last four years. Yeah, they're not doing a great job no. right now. Uh, I enjoy all the Marvel Marvel stuff that's coming out. They've just, been, it, they just been they're on a tear. knocking it out. Yeah. yeah. Um, I own a couple of good comics. Uh-huh. Uh, not Nothing too crazy. I don't have a full library like some people. Uh, your wife, for one. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, about music? I, who's your favorite artist? For, say what now? Who's your favorite artist? For mu- music-wise? I I can't say that I really have a uh, favorite artist. 
Really? Yeah, I don't I don't actively listen to music that much anymore. Okay. Uh, I listen to a lot of uh, sports talk radio, ESPN, mm-hmm. shit like that. Mm-hmm. I'm really into that. My dad always uh, did it growing up, so I eventually was just like, I like this shit too. <laughs> David. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Looks right. like you were just listening to a sports uh, podcast. Oh. <laughs> just... Resting a little bit. Yeah. So um, that's pretty, I mean, you know, there's uh, tons we could go over, but, uh, <laughs> you know, maybe something we could revisit <laughs> later is uh, gaming. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, yeah. Ga- uh, all right, what's B- your favorite video game, David? Big, big gamer. Madden. Madden, really? <laughs> really? We're just <laughs> saying how much you hate sports. <laughs> and he fucking loves Madden. <laughs> I will say I was there. dope as all fuck. Uh, Madden on the Wii, whatever that, uh, whatever that year was, when Madden was on Wii. The Nintendo Wii. I, I, I'm not expecting you to know. I'm, I'm thinking it's maybe 2006, seven. Well, you got to remember, a Wii only has a short. It wasn't born too long ago, so yeah, at least happen. that far back. Yeah, it was fine. It was fine. But uh, I was bad. But David, what, what, what do you, uh, what's your favorite game? I'm a big Gears of War Xbox guy. Uh, loved the Halo series. It's kind of going in a shit tank right now, though. No! <laughs> Uh, Gears and Halo, great series, I think, in my opinion. Uh, I didn't get super into them, but I did play them. Uh, my favorite, absolute favorite series, I would want to say not game, but series of all time is Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid? Or, or anything Hideo Kojima. I've played as a series but, as a whole. But Metal Gear Solid, yes. The series as a whole uh-huh. has the most so amazing... So you played like all the 9, 10 games that have come out? I've Not quite, but I, I mean, there's been a lot of games, yeah. But uh, as far as like, the main uh, series goes, um, I believe that number five tends to be the pinnacle of everything Hideo Kojima has worked on mm-hmm. and has created, in my opinion, the most perfect game in regards to... Uh, the gameplay, the uh, uh, the approachability, approachability, uh, uh, approachability, approachability <laughs> the approachability <laughs> to the game, uh-huh. you know, and, um, and how you can kind of take any me- any mission in any way you kind of want. You know, it's really, uh, you know, kind of going on really good games I played before. Um, have you played The Last of Us? No. Amazing game. Yes, I mean, amazing. I, hear it's... Um, I would have to say though, the best video game I've ever played, Dead Space Two. Dead Space really? 2 was great. Dude, it I was... didn't think it was Dead Space 1, but it was definitely an, an amazing I just game. loved it because it was a little more enhanced graphics and better guns. It, it was more action, yeah. yeah. It was more action so oriented. That, and that's why I loved it. And yeah. I'm not I'm not one to coast through the game. I put it on the hardest setting. That was a great game. I, play. I like that one. Yeah. The that's first probably one... the best game I played. Um, oh, wow. First Dead Space terrified me, like in ways that was... I just I would <laughs> freeze. In, I would, that's like, how I felt like down. as a kid playing Doom. Oh, in, in, in my dark room, and that's what that uh, <laughs> that's what that game Last of Us gives you that feel yeah, like you're man. playing Doom because oh, yeah. in Last of Us you have limited like literally in the world there's limited weapons and ammunition so like you can't fuck around with these you know creatures the walking around the yeah the oh such a great game they're making a sequel I think that's coming out later this year next year next year yeah they I believe they no it's next year it's definitely next year um what about red dead 2 you hyped about that red, red dead. dead 2 uh i did play quite a bit of the first one but i never actually beat the game it's one did of those you games that played I, the zombie expansion they had here yeah i played it um i played it mostly that was the only part of the game i played i mi- kind of missed the uh the main part because i when it came out i just played at a friend's pad right right i personally prefer the grand theft auto series um Ooh. i like the whole western feel it was great but I just liked how much there was to do in Grand Theft Auto. I feel like there was the world was more. I alive. think Part Two is gonna really step it up. But Part Two, I mean, I'm gonna play it. Of it's course, it's gonna step it up. It's, so. it's it's Rockstar. You cannot fucking play a game of Rockstar and not expect absolute quality just and attention to ma- detail in the world that they usually. You know, their there. mayhem is so beautiful. <laughs> oh. Fu, any uh, games you want to uh, throw in the, the ring here? Well, the only the, I, I don't play many games. Um, uh, so I, I think one of the cooler games that I've had the pleasure of playing, uh, based on my zero games that I play, uh, Bioshock uh, was dope when I, when that was uh, new. fantastic series. Yeah, um, I really enjoyed uh, you know the Call of Duty stuff when, when everybody was in on it. Um, it. You know, if I wanted friends, I had to uh, p- pick up a controller and uh, play with them because that's all they would do when uh, Mr. Modern Popular Warfare here. Two came out. Uh, and, uh, the Arkham, the Arkham series has been dope. I don't play it, but I did make my wife play it and watch her 
play it, you know. So she got through them, and it, it was dope. It was dope. Everyone.